Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll have him tell you. Okay. Yes, that corresponds with the solar chakra. Maybe we were slightly below. And then right above the belly button, this was more of the outer layers of the auric field and how it connects into the body is how we were working at the time. This also relates to the lower back, which can be painful for many and has much to do with past lives. And so we were inadvertently clearing anything to do with past lives here, working on lower back pain, but really working on auric field. The next spot would be what you would call the root chakra and clearing there. This was clearing the grounding and the emotional safety needs, just as you clear now the root chakra, very similar. However, we did think of it slightly different. And then one more point, which was halfway between the groin and the knees, between the thighs, of course, above, always a few inches above the body. We were not touching the body here, of course. And this was to ground to surroundings and ground to your place on earth. And these were where we did healing. This is Rachel. That's really interesting because I always thought it was the chakras. Yeah. I'm kind of saying I think, it a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. I think we kind of just associate them with the same general places where the chakras yeah. fall. It seems like what he's showing me is that it's like intuitively they were bringing up that they were chakra related and other things that are related there. Like I clear a lot of past lives in the lower chakras. So that makes sense to me, but he's actually showing me like lower back, like the auric field and all the past lives caught in there. That's really neat. And then, but he's not really saying that he was using chakras. I would have thought that he was, but I guess not. All right, cool. Okay. Let me go back in. You can ask more questions. Okay. I'm so interested. I wanted to say something. Okay. I know. Okay. You may proceed. 